lonely from the world's capital markets. Here are the financial headlines brought to you by Arise Academy. Good morning and welcome to our daily financial outlook. Join us today as we survey the business world for the latest events and updates in the markets. Michael is helping today from our trading room. The European Union's forthcoming sanctions on Russia will target banks, in particular Sparebank, as well as oil. The head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, told a German newspaper, Mercedes-Benz will source 70% of its energy needs for production through renewable energy by 2030 by rolling out solar and wind power projects at its plants and through power purchase agreements. If China were to continue to pursue a zero-Covid policy amidst rising case counts, supply chains originating in Asia could get shut down again. Paying higher prices for dwindling quantities would send stagflationary alarm bells ringing. The oil dollar pair gained 2.6% in the last session, after rising as much as 3.6% during the session. The CCI indicates an overbought market. The gold dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The euro dollar pair corrected downwards in the last session, falling 0.1%. The stochastic RSI indicates an oversold market. The dollar rose 0.3% against the yen in the last trading session. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. The US NAHB housing market index will be released at 1400 GMT. The US three-month bill auction at 1530 GMT. The US six-month bill auction at 1530 GMT. Finland's unemployment rate will be released at 0500 hours GMT. China's gross domestic product at 0200 GMT. China's retail sales at 0200 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.